Are you really aware of the scale of TfL licensed drivers operating outside London? A lot of reports I've seen, for example, suggest 53 TfL licensed drivers operating in Sheffield uh, on a regular basis. <laughs> There's a, a taxi drivers in Bristol have got a WhatsApp group uh, to look at TfL licensed drivers because it's a big problem there. I hear drivers in Watford are taking court <coughs> action. In Aylesbury, outside the station, um, there, there is a you know, huge congestion from... Uh, Private hire vehicles licensed in London now operating regularly in Aylesbury, South End, for example, Dover, Truro, the list goes on. Um, the scale is enormous. Because of the number of licenses being granted by TfL, there's just not the market in London. It seems that they're going outside and operating all around the country. Is this something that you've been previously aware of? And what can you do about the scale of the problem? I mean, can I just kind of say, firstly, kind of thank you for raising the issue in this environment. It's really important you raise that issue in this environment. Can I achieve the dilemma, which is basically if somebody satisfies the conditions to receive a license, they've got to be given one. We can't cap the numbers of PHV licensing, licenses in London. It's ridiculous. One of the things we're lobbying for is the ability to cap the number of uh, uh, yeah. private eye vehicles, not just for congestion reasons, but for the reasons you say. There are, there are perverse incentives. If you want to be a private hire uh, vehicle, uh, you know, minicab uh, driver, to apply for a license in the area where it's easiest to get a license. Mm. Um, now, I can accept the cross-border cases where you, you may want to leave one area to go to another area, either because of the start of a journey mm. or the end. But there can be no justification for somebody with a license from one area to your operation full-time in another area, whether we're exporting London PHV operators, whether we're importing, there's lots of stories. You've given me stories of, inverted commas, exports. I can tell you what, tell you what we've got lots of imports, people with licences claimed elsewhere, working in London, often weekends, evenings, supplementing their income, moonlighting and stuff. And so we are lobbying. So, so Val Sawcross has met with Lord Tariq Ahmed, who, who understands the issue, the Transport Minister, on at least two occasions, raised this issue, and we're carrying lobbying. But don't underestimate the power of the assembly cross party. Also, maybe lobbying as well. Uh, and I'm happy to support you in that in that endeavour. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you give, there's a lot of licences being given out, and you talk about conditions. You know that the that you can revoke the licences or not give the licences out if they don't meet uh, TfL conditions. Could you make one of the conditions that uh, if you have a TfL licence, you must operate in London? Well, every, uh, time only, I, and, and every time I suggest outside. a new condition, Uber take me to court. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're t t t t t tearful, are tearful always reviewing this, uh, these, these things. Let, let me look at it. By the way, uh, you asked a very good question last time about the numbers of licences we'd revoked. Mm. Uh, and I've written to you with, with that answer. Yeah, and if you're not happy with that, please do. Please yeah. do get in touch again. Mm. I mean, are, are you also aware of the 2015 Deregulation Act? There's something that's come up when I've been researching this question. That seems to be a, a bill, quite recent bill, that's actually allowed this cross-border trade. W were you aware of this act and the implications of it, whether intended or unintended? And are you doing anything to lobby to change this act uh, if it could actually stop this cross-border trade? I think the cross-border trade has been going on for, for many, many years. It's, it's nothing new there. The issue is us, us lobbying the government to uh, localise uh, where the licensee can can use the licence. I mean, I, I mean, if, for example, somebody wants to have a licence in two areas, that's a different argument. Mm. But for somebody to get a licence from one area, they're not then use a minicab elsewhere around the country, that can't be right. Mm. Just one further question, Mayor. You, you've written back to me on the number of licences you have revoked and suspended. But I will come back to the question I asked last time about your statement about Uber, you know, if there was one single driver that didn't hold genuine paperwork, you would suspend their license immediately. But you haven't done that. Now, does that mean that they, there hasn't been a case where uh, there, there hasn't been a single driver that's holding genuine paperwork? They've all got genuine paperwork. Or does it mean that when you said that, you weren't properly aware uh, of the implications of what you said? And that was it pledged that you, you actually now practically can't keep now you're sitting in that chair? Well, let me clear, I mean, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but Uber is licensed as a private hire operator mm. as they meet the requirements set out in the private hire legislation. Action taken by DF TfL in respect of private hire licensees depends on compliance with private hire legislation and it will take action in the event of any breach. I couldn't be any clearer.
but you, you said, you know, that if there was one single Uber driver that didn't have genuine paper, paperwork, you would suspend Uber's operating license immediately. That hasn't happened, has it? So you've got the operator and the licensee. So yeah. if a licensee is in breach, action is taken by TFL. And by the way, we've quadrupled the number of yeah, compliance yes. officers to make sure we take action mm -hmm. against licensees. Clearly, if there are operators breaching, we'll take action against the operator. And the letter I wrote to you, uh, mm. gave you a, a number for the numbers of revocations of operators uh, and licensees as well. Mm. Okay, well, we're, I would love to carry on, but we're a bit out of time. But thank yes, you for your answers, and I might write to you. Please do. To clarify. Yeah, please do.